How weird is this? I don't think I've ever had this large of a backdrop in anywhere that I've ever filmed. Like you can see most of my body. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I gotta put this other overall on. I just went pee. I forgot. Let's get this thing started, y'all. Hey guys, I know that it's like technically fall right now, but I just spent some money uh, on some bathing suits from Shein because I asked you guys recently some websites that you guys have been shopping on. Shein was one of the most mentioned. So I was like, let me check this out. And it turns out that I've ordered from Shein like a couple years ago and they have really like gotten their shit together in terms of like their website. Like it looks so much better. Like I feel like I remember it looking really janky years ago. Anyways, I was just like looking on there and I wanted everything. Like I'm sure that's what happens to all y'all and that's why you recommended it. But I pretty much like was <laughs> so excited to shop on there because not every, not only was everything super cheap, but it ships so fast and it always gets to me so fast. So since that time, I spent probably around $300 on the website. Um, so today we're gonna do a little try on with some bathing suits and some cover ups that I purchased from Shein and see how they look. Now, I, um, Got my boobs done, obviously, for a second time. If you didn't know, surprise. Uh, so I don't even know what size my boobs are right now. I have not gone bra shopping since, which is kind of blows my mind because that's one of the most fun parts about like having new boobs is like putting things on them and like seeing how it looks. So I'm kind of surprised that I haven't been bra shopping and I was thinking about doing that vlog style and bringing you guys with me because it'll be interesting because I have no idea what size my boobs are. But I'm gonna guess they're a double D. Uh, so a lot of what I purchased was just a set because I thought that was just like the easiest way to do it. It was like 12 bucks. You get the tops, the bottoms, but, um, I'm having a feeling that might be a little bit of an issue for me because I tried one of these on before I decided to film this video just to like see how it looked. And, um, definitely the bottoms are way too big and the top fits perfectly. So in order to get a top that fits me, I have to order a large. So I order a large in everything here today, I think. Um, and the bottoms were just giant. So let's see, there's one um, piece that I put together with separate pieces and I bought um, one size and one size. So we'll see what it looks like, but um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Shein site in general. and. I definitely have some more videos coming out with more clothing from them because I'm obsessed with their site. Like everything on it, I freaking want. By the way, if you are like, holy hell, she has color on her eyes. This is what, what year is it? Yeah, I did do a colorful look. I basically took one of my animals, one of my reptiles and did a makeup look inspired by that animal. So that is actually over on my animal channel. If you didn't know that I had another YouTube channel, surprise, again, I have a YouTube channel for my animals. So check that out. I'll link you guys in the description box below, but let's get started. Okay, so this first one, oh my gosh, I have to say too, I thought it was so funny. Okay, so I took one of the photos from this website and I posted it, it was the, it was, uh, the white bikini that I'll show you guys. I posted it on my community tab on YouTube and some of you lost your f***ing minds. Like I got accused of trying to pass that picture off as myself. I was like, y'all, I'm pale as f and have a neck tattoo and hand tattoos and I'm blonde. Like in what world was that me trying to pass that off as me? Like bloggers do that all the time where they put pictures like the product photo from the website on their story or like in a blog post. So that's merely all I was doing. And I thought it was just so weird. I would like came back to this like explosion of like accusations and I was just like, what the actual f just happened? So to those of you that understood that it was a product photo from a website, good for you, using your brain. So this first one came as a set. This was 10.99. It is, the product photo for this was so cute. So this is the top of oh, this matches like so well with everything that's happening right now, the mustard background, all of it. So this is the top and it looks a little big. We'll have to see. And I got this in a size, oh, I don't think I meant to order an XL. 
but I ordered an XL. I definitely did not mean to order an XL. Um, and here are the bottoms. These are, these might fit. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> this like looks good from far away, but this is like oddly loose right here. Like, I don't know if you can see it in the back too. It's almost like when, um, elastic is just like old and stretched out. So like I could get away with it. Um, these bottoms are a little big. Like I wouldn't want them too tight. They're definitely like kind of baggy and the back, I don't know. It's just like not the most flattering, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't really like where these are hitting me right here either. So maybe like pregnancy belly ones, this will be good. I don't know. Like these are just kind of like the top, like it was almost there. This is just cutting me in a super weird place. Like either go lower or higher than my belly button or like dip down here. Like, I don't know, but like the top could be cute. It's like almost there, but like it just is like this, it's like oddly open right here. Like it's so loose. It's so weird. Needless to say on this one, um, it's a, it's a no for me. I wouldn't wear this. This one I absolutely loved because it's so colorful, but based on the photo that I saw on their website, I, my boobs are bigger than that girl, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit. Um, this one has a wire underneath as well. This was $10.99. We're matching again in the background, I love it. So I just loved this combo of colors. This was basically my room when I was in eighth grade, like to a T. So I don't know if this one is, if my boobs are gonna fit in this, but I definitely love the colors and these are so funny. There's these like little, I don't know if you can tell cause the camera's kind of blowing it out, but there are these like little pads in here that are just round that just are so awkward and round. Like I, you can't, I don't think you can see it, but they're so funny looking. So that's the top that might fit. The bottoms look too big for me. So I don't know what we're gonna do here, but I loved the way that these were shaped. And this I purchased in a large, and these look larger than the last ones that I just had on or just showed you guys. So I, I don't know how we're gonna do with this, but I think this is probably gonna be way too big. I don't know if I'll be able to like sew this in a little bit maybe, but I guess we'll see how this fits. The top is cute, although my nipples are literally right here and could pop out any moment. What's happening down here? I don't really don't know, but there's just a lot of extra fabric. This is just, it's just too much fabric down here. Um, the back is like loose, extra fabric. So almost like maybe if I had gone for like a smaller bottom, this would work, but this is like super saggy and loose. So the top is good, I think, it's cute. Like I might be able to keep my boobs in this, maybe if I tightened this, but the bottoms are just, it's like, I feel like I'm wearing like Depends, like it feels like a diapy. So yeah, sadly I won't be wearing this one either. This next one has a, okay, so I purchased this one in a large and it was $13.74. I love that it has like a little skirt with it. Um, I think, yeah, so it's this little skirt and nobody has worn like wraps with bathing suits or skirts like this with bathing suits since I was like a little girl. So I'm loving that it's coming back because it's a great way to like cover up your stomach if you're trying to sit down and you feel uncomfortable or you want to eat some food and you want to cover yourself up a little bit, or maybe you just realize you didn't like shave super well and missed a spot down there and you want to cover yourself up or you're at the river on someone. I mean, the, 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 uh, uh, like options of like when this would be appropriate are like endless, I guess. So I'm loving that those are coming back, but, um, this is the bottoms. This looks like it'll fit me actually. Um, I think that could actually do it. I love this top. I'm gonna have to, good luck to me figuring out how to put this on because it looks like it goes like this, but in the photo, they flipped it like this and then tied this around the neck. So I'm gonna try and 
figure this out, but I will tell you that the last time I bought a Shein bathing suit a couple years ago, I had to have Nick help me put it on and figure out the top because I, for the life of me, could not figure out how to put the damn top on. And it took him like five seconds. I was like, one that actually fits that's a large crazy i didn't think this was gonna like cover my titas but it did this is so loosely tied but yet my fat is just like i'm gonna look like i'm being squished so i don't know if i would do this this is like extra long though if you don't tie because at first i was like wait what do i do with all this extra um fabric and string and but it i then i looked at the picture and you tie it around here this is a little tighter than I would want up here. Like if I sit down, I feel like I'm just gonna feel like chunky monkey in this thing. But um, I mean, it fits pretty well. Like all of it fits pretty well. The back's pretty cute. I mean, you know. So I think I would actually wear this. Let's also put on the skirt that comes with it. Okay, so she wears this like up over her belly button. So. That's the skirt with it. This is actually really cute. I like this a lot. I would wear this. This next piece I bought separately. Each of them I bought in a large, and in hindsight, looking at the bottoms to the large sets, I probably should have purchased a medium, but I guess we'll see. This one is, uh, it was $6.41. It's got this like really cute mesh cutout, which I love right here. And I don't know if my boobs are gonna fit in this, but we'll see. It's got one of these kind of ones, which I wish it was a tie because then you can kind of control like how tight the top is, which I'm a fan of, but we'll see how that one goes. And then here are the bottoms. Uh, these were $5.50 and they look like they're gonna fit. These actually look like they'll fit perfectly just looking at the size. So the back is a bit of a thong action situation, but this set was like so freaking cheap. So this one is large and these fit kind of like the last ones, like a little too, like almost too tight. Also like, I don't know where to put them. Like, do they go all the way up here? I'm not really too sure. This unfortunately also the back is like a little like up my ass but this doesn't fit it's like my tits are coming out the bottom here like if i pull this side over to fit this one properly then my nipple pops out over here like this cup size just isn't quite big enough for me unfortunately but i mean it's a very cute top i just need like it bigger and for my boobs not to be coming out the bottom so very cute, but the bottoms don't fit and the top doesn't really fit super well either. This one is a knitted halter cover-up dress, $12.82. This is the front. It's like a little scoop neck with a tie. And then the back has these two straps. So this like goes right above your butt. And then these tie together, like kind of on your lower mid back. So this is just like a little cover up. I don't know how this one's gonna fit. It feels kind of like if it got wet, it would like just sag and like not be a good look. And it may not fit the body well anyways, but at least there's ties so you can make your hips stand out and like give yourself a waistline. Um, but this one is super cute. I love this one. I also really love it if you have a bathing suit that is pushing your boobs together. Like I am lusting after myself in the monitor right now. Like, I freaking love my boobs. I'm so happy with them. Um, okay, so this could use a little bit more like right here. I don't have a body that goes in super like a lot right here. So I always need a little something there so I don't look like a square, but this still looks really cute. This is a really flattering neckline. I do like that. Um, excuse these, these are high, but like if you had something shorter on, that would be really, really cute. Love the multiple ties in the back. Um, I really like this. I'll definitely be keeping this one. This is the bathing suit I was talking about posting the product photo and some people were like, that's not you. Yeah, no sh it's not me. <laughs> this is a set as well. I purchased large, it's 10.99. So this has like an asymmetrical uh, 
what do you want, want to call it? Like an H it's just asymmetrical at the top and it goes to one side like this and ties. This has a wire at the bottom as well. And this also has not a tie in the back, but a little snapperoo that just goes together like so. So I thought this was super cute. I also really loved that it's ribbed. Let's take a look at the bottoms. The bottoms look like they're gonna be too big for me. Um, that's the back. What's the back? I can't tell. I think that's the back. Um, these are also ribbed because it came as a set again. This is a large. And I think that these are gonna be a little too big for me, unfortunately. Holy camel toe situation. <laughs> um, this top is very loose. This is like super, super cute, but it's not adjustable in the back. The strap isn't. So it's very, it feels just very kind of like loose and like a tick could pop out at any moment. I love the idea of this asymmetrical like look here. I think it's awesome, but this needs to be like at least that much. I could probably make this tighter myself and I would wear it. The bottoms, again, too much fabric down here. Like my crotch isn't this wide. Like I don't know what the deal is, but um, this is like, you know, it's, it's, the top is really cute. The back is just like, again, like what is this extra fabric happening down here? Like, what is this? Like, yeah, the fabric is a situation. Top, cute idea. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. There's just, again, I feel like I'm wearing Depends. I feel like I'm wearing like a diaper and this is so loose, my tits are gonna pop out. So um, I might fix this, but I don't know if this, this might go with another white top, but because this is ribbed, it might not. So I don't know if I'll just return the whole thing or what I'll do, but this is not working. I got one one piece because I wanted to see how they would fit. Typically my torso is too long for one pieces and I would say seven out of 10 one pieces that I buy, my torso is just too long for and the straps are extra like tight here and it's just super uncomfortable and it just doesn't look right. So we'll see how we do with this one. But this one was $11.91 and it's this really pretty rust color perfect for fall in San Diego because you know we're still going to be in our pools in San Diego in the fall and it twists in the back and has well it's hard to tell but it twists in the back and then ties so you have like a little peekaboo and the bottoms looked like they weren't too like covered up they still looked cute in the photo so I'm really liking this one so far again it has those weird little round pads in there I think I'm gonna have to pull those out of everything but it's also got this little extra band in here for a little extra support to kind of like differentiate your boob area from the stomach area that's weird but I get it I get it I get it I get you I was trying to figure out what was weird with this a second ago but you know that little built-in bra thing that we talked about? So that just like isn't big enough for my boobs. This should be higher in my opinion. Like I think where it's cutting me is a little just like not in the right spot. Like my curve is still going, like it needs to be like up here. So that's not, I'm not really a fan of that. The side is just kind of like not big enough for my boobs and I don't know, like at first it looks cute, but then you're like, wait a second, this would be so much cuter if this was just like a little more like this and a little more like this. And the back is good. I mean, it's long enough for my torso. Like this is a little tight on my butt cheeks, but this is really cute, this whole strappy thing. But again, I just, I don't know, this like isn't doing it for me. Um, it just doesn't fit well enough for me to feel comfortable going out. That's a string by the way not a tampon string. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't feel secure enough in this. And this is just cutting into me a little bit too much right here for me to feel comfortable in this one. So this one is a big fat no for me. Last one is a cover up again. This was 1649. This is like almost like an olive green kind of a color. And this is the front. And then the sides have these like little ruched kind of pieces, like or little areas on either side with like little ties, which I thought was super cute because you can kind of hike it up a little bit more if you want to, or like just one side or let both of them down a little bit. And then the back is a little bit, it's like a 
deep scoop neck kind of back so it hangs back a little bit so we'll see what this one looks like this might look like a potato sack on or it'll look really cute i look really boxy in this so like i don't know maybe if this had a little tie in the back right there that would be cute like maybe i could make that happen this is super cute loving this very cute um the back very cute but the front is just like i mean it's not horrible but it's definitely not like super flattering like this like can we have some hips in here so i like this i'll wear it but i might need to like do something so that we can get a little bit more of that going on what do you guys think i would say overall that was a little bit of a fail like just a little bit it may be my own fault. It may be because I ordered so many pieces together that were larges and so the bottoms didn't fit. So if you shop on Shein for bathing suits and you have a lot of luck, uh, what size are your boobs? And do you order the sets or do you order them separately? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to maybe go back to the drawing board with this one. There definitely were a couple, I would say a few items that I'm gonna keep, but I'm definitely gonna return the rest of them because they just don't work for me. Um, and I actually had some returns from another order and I was thinking to myself like, oh, it's only eight bucks, it's only 10 bucks. By the time they take the shipping out of it, like what's the point of returning it? And I'm pretty sure that's what part of their business model is, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of these bathing suits in a box to return and those other items so that the $8 makes sense. But yeah, overall, I think this was a little bit of a fail. Um, I would rather spend more money on a bathing suit and have it fit perfectly. But the problem with bathing suits are, for me, is like I really need to be able to try them on to know if I'm going to love them and if they're gonna fit my body. Like everyone's body is so different. Like bathing suits, I feel like have to be made super well unless you have like a very common like height boob size, like just sizes in general, which I don't really know what that is, but apparently I'm not it. because <laughs> A lot of these just didn't work. Um, so I'm curious how you shop for bathing suits and where are some of your favorite bathing suit spots that I need to check out. This has been kind of an ongoing battle for me uh, ever since I got my boobs done because I just am having a hard time finding bathing suits that are working for me, but luckily we're going into fall and winter, so I don't really need any bathing suits uh, too soon. However, I am going to the river next month and I definitely need a bathing suit. That flower one with the skirt, definitely gonna be wearing that. But let me know what other bathing suit brands or sites you guys are loving and if you shop on Shein for bathing suits and have luck, how are you doing it? Please give us your secrets. Uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.